of our internet friends, it's me, Literal Cream, and I have a confession for you all today. Uh, I'm not filming on my tripod right now. My camera's sitting on a Ralph Lauren box. So bear with me. <laughs> okay, this is my confession. I said to myself, if I ever have a YouTube channel, I should tell this story. Here it goes. Okay, so... I have had hamsters since I was a kid. I always loved them. Can't say I was the best at treating them right when I was a child, but now I know all their needs and desires and I build them wonderful houses. This happened to me my sophomore year of college. Hey, stop! Stop crying! You're being such a big baby. So my school had just come back from spring break and my friend invited me out to go party that night. And so we were hanging out in his dorm room, me and him, him and I, and his other friend comes down, she's hanging out with us, and then she invites us back up to her and her roommate's dorm. And while I'm in there, I see that they have a hamster. Very, very cute, and I ask, oh my goodness, can I play with your hamster? I'm a little bit drunk, but she says yes. I take him out, and it is the cutest thing, so soft and so sweet, just sat right in my hands. And then I'm looking in the cage. No wheel. No house. Very little water in the water bottle, meaning they don't change it regularly. And the food dish was made out of a plastic water bottle, cut in half. Not a lot of food in there either. This poor little thing. And I mention these things to her. I say, oh, your hamster doesn't have a wheel. She said, it was too small, so we took it out. And I say, where's the food? And she goes, oh, he dumps it all out and hides it throughout the cage. Okay. In my head, I'm thinking, no, this is wrong. You're mistreating this little animal. So I put him back. I've already decided in my head, I'm going to steal this motherfucking hamster. And I put the hamster away so that I don't look suspicious. And I start texting my boyfriend. I say, I'm going to steal a hamster. Need you to come pick me up. He's like, okay, sure. I just mingle in, I'm blending in, drinking, partying, haha, <laughs> yeah, everything's fun, fun, woo! And then we're about to leave for a house party. So I made sure that I was the last person out of the dorm room and I left it unlocked. So we all go to the house party, we get there, it's packed, and so I managed to get lost in the crowd. Uh, I have a big ass bottle of vodka that I had shoved in my bra somehow. I don't know, but we get lost in the crowd, and I just kind of tell some girl, like, oh, I'm going to slip outside for a minute, and I head outside and head back to the dorm, and I'm not able to get into the building because I don't have a key, so by some wonderful strangers and God's grateful graceness, two kind strangers let me into the building, and I run up the stairs to the third floor, I think it was, get in, door still unlocked. There's the hamster chewing on the bars of his cage. Now, when I was in there, she had mentioned that the hamster was so loud at night, and I'm just thinking, how is this animal loud? He doesn't have a wheel or anything to do. This poor little animal was just chewing on the bars of the cage all night long because it had no form of stimulation whatsoever. Awful. So on the cage, there's this little thing I popped off where a tube would go to connect and I was able to just pop that off and make it look like he escaped. I took the hamster, got it in my hand, and I dropped my fucking vodka. It falls out of my bra and I'm afraid it's going to shatter and break. Luckily it didn't. I was so scared. So I picked up my vodka in one hand, had the hamster in the other, locked the door this time, and left. Now as I'm about to go down the stairs, I hear voices coming up and it sounds like them. So I run all the way to the other end of the hallway and go down that set of stairs and I make it outside. I don't know if it was them coming up the stairs, but nobody saw me. So now I'm outside and it's dark and I've got the vodka like slipping in my bra and my hand and I've got a hamster in the other. And I'm like, what the fuck do I do? I can't hold both. So I see this kid walking by. He's also kind of drunk and I'm like, hey! You want some vodka? And he's like, fuck yeah, I want some vodka. So I just whip it out and give it to him. <laughs> it's like half full. Now I've got two hands to hold this little hamster. 
and it was about, I don't know how far, but it was all the way across campus. I had texted my friend, I'm like, meet me at your door with a box, don't ask questions, I'm coming. <laughs> and I've just got this hamster in my hands, and I kind of wrapped him up in my shirt, because I was afraid he would bite me, because I'm a stranger. But he didn't, and we made it to her door, she had a box, and I explained everything that I had just stolen or rescued this Poor little animal. She had pet mice at the time and she actually accidentally bought a bag of hamster food so we were able to feed this little guy some good food. This is just something I want to add in. So I was freaking out the whole time in her room. I was like no one else can find out about this. No one can find out because I still cared what people thought about me at this time and I didn't want to be known as the weird girl that stole someone's hamster. And then my boyfriend shows up a little while later and we take the hamster home. I have a little travel case that we put him in for the night and this poor little thing is just chewing on the bars that whole night. And uh, later I got a call from these two girls and they say, Hey, do you know what happened to the hamster? Like, I'm like, no, what happened? I put him back. And they go, oh, like, it looks like he escaped. Like, he popped this thing off of his cage somehow and got out. And I'm like... Oh, that's so sad. Like, I've had hamsters escape and I always found them, like, put food out and check the corners. And they're like, okay, yeah, like, he got lost before and we found him covered in dust. So, I'm like, yeah, maybe he'll turn up. And the next day, my boyfriend and I went out to the store and we bought him a tank and a cage topper. So he had a 20-gallon setup. We got him a big wheel, a house and food and everything. And we were originally going to give him away to some of our friends because we already had one hamster at the time. But we kind of fell in love with this little guy. He was so sweet and cuddly and soft and just really wonderful. And we decided to keep him. We had him for about a year before he died. Throughout that whole year, he never took all the food out of the food dish and hid it around. He would take some, spread it around the cage, but not all. So that poor little hamster was starving, he was thirsty, he had no wheel, no house, no anything. And I don't feel bad about stealing him or rescuing him, whatever you want to call it. I feel no shame whatsoever. He ended up with a 20, 60, 70 gallon setup in total. And he was so appreciative. <laughs> he actually escaped his cage one time when we had him. We found him like, down the hallway in the office a few days later. Luckily he's fine. But hamsters do tend to escape. That's just in their nature. Uh, <laughs> he was just a wonderful little guy. And so the school year rolls back around and these girls texted me asking, do you know anyone that wants a hamster? And I'm like, you know, maybe I can find one of my friends that wants a hamster. Because they had gone to the pet store, bought a hamster, they got home, their hamster didn't like them. So they went out to the pet store, bought another one, and put these two in the same cage. Now for anyone with half a brain and access to the internet, you will know that hamsters will fight to the death if put together in the same cage. Two males. Now luckily maybe these two were young enough that they didn't have that territorial instinct yet. They didn't kill each other. And she had taken one of them out and put it in a hamster ball for like half a day while she was waiting for me to come and give her an extra cage to put the other one in because I had extra supplies. I'm just like, oh my god, you're fucking idiotic piece of shit. Like, how can you do that to another animal, to another being? Just cruel, really disgusting. When I got there, like, the thing was filled up with shit and it had just been pissing and shitting in this tiny little hamster ball all day long until I could get there with another cage for it. So horrible, so awful. So I actually found another home for... I don't know what they named it, but my friend actually ended up naming this little guy Ralph. So we found another home for the hamster they didn't want. Good home. Really nice. But then the hamster they ended up keeping, they named him Bear. Same setup. Tiny little cage. Tiny little wheel. You know, I couldn't just steal another hamster because they're going to go out and buy another one. So I made them a little setup. It's like 20 gallons. The minimum for a hamster is 40, but this is better than what it was in. I gave them a big wheel, a house, I gave it everything that it would need in this little compact cage. 
and they were like, oh, thank you so much. This is really nice. This is going to be a better home for my hamster. And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Here you go. It's just, it's free. It's out in the house. I just don't want to see you mistreat this poor little animal. Then, on Snapchat, she posts a photo of the hamster with the wheel taken out. And I'm like, why did you take the wheel out? And she goes, oh, because we don't want him running at night, so we're going to make him knock diurnal instead of nocturnal so that he will be awake during the day and sleep at night. That is horribly cruel to do to a Syrian hamster. I researched this because I had never heard of anyone doing this before. Apparently the lady at the pet store told them they could do this, but I looked into it. The only hamsters this can possibly work with is the Russian dwarfs, not the Syrians, which they had. And if you're going to do this, you have to make sure that you keep them on the strict schedule. They're just going to fuck with their brain. It's... And, you know, they're not going to do that. You're in a dorm room. You're in college. You're not going to be able to make sure your hamster stays on a perfect diurnal sleeping schedule. I told them this. I'm like, you can't do that to these poor animals. And they go, you're not the only one that's had a hamster. Like, the lady at the pet store told us we could do this. Basically telling me to fuck off. All right. All right. Little did they know, karma was coming for them. About a month ago, one of them had posted a Snapchat where she was in the car with her friend, drinking and driving. Little old me saved that Snapchat, and when she told me to fuck off for telling her to treat a hamster with respect, I anonymously emailed that video to the dean, to the detective of our police department, to another head of admissions. I just emailed that video to everyone I could. When they all got in trouble for it, I don't know what happened. They didn't get suspended or kicked out, but karma's a bitch, bitch. And I actually thought it was my friend that sent the video. No, bitch. It was me. It was fucking me. I stole your hamster. I reported you all to the dean. Don't fuck with these little animals' innocent lives. <laughs> Anyways, that is my full I stole your hamster story time. You wanna slap some cuffs on me? Prosecute me? Take me to jail? Go right along. You abused this animal and I did him right. And he's dead now anyway, so like, what do you care? Oh, I actually had asked them <laughs> a little while later and I was helping them with their hamster situation to part two. I asked them, so what happened to that first hamster? And they go, oh, he died. Yeah, he died. That's right. Uh, it, may, it just makes me so angry because these are... These are tiny little sweet beings. They are the sweetest little animals. They are so cute and wonderful. And I see them treated wrong all the time. I treated them wrong as a child. I would put them in the little 10-gallon setups the pet store recommends. But they need a minimum of 40 gallons. In the wild, a hamster will run two miles a night. They need lots of enrichment. They're not just some little goldfish with fur, as I've seen them described before. I saw an ad on Craigslist of a girl wanting to get rid of her hamster because she had kept these two hamsters together. One of them killed the other one, and she's like, I can't even look at this one anymore. What a horrible being. And I messaged her. I'm like, you're a fucking piece of shit. It's completely your fault that these hamsters killed each other, you incompetent moron. She got mad at me, but, you know, you need a reality check, you fucking cunt. You know, and you think about it. Hamsters are only on this earth a year and a half to two and a half years. If they have a bad year, that's half their life. It's only on this earth for two and a half years. You can't make a commitment to treat them right. For that amount of time, you should not get a hamster. I've had guys say to me, oh, you have a hamster? Isn't that a little girl's pet? Like, fuck off. Fuck off. It takes a lot of goddamn work to give these hamsters a good life. And I don't stand for anyone mistreating them. So, I stole your fucking hamster. This is my confession. I know that you suspect me, but you had no proof, and here you go. I stole your fucking hamster. Oh, also one more thing I want to add. The hamster's original name was Derp. Derp. Like, this animal is just a joke to you. You're going to name it Derp. Alright, we changed his name 
to Bernie, like Bernie Sanders. I thought it was cute and funny and suiting for this little guy. <laughs>